Right, let's get right to it. I just got off work and I am excited. It says Ultimate Doom, December 13, 2022, now called C Day. Biden Buck, Central Bank Digital Currency, CBDC, Executive Order 1407. Let's get it. All right, this is the bill. It says, please understand the possible implications of this ultimate challenge to our free society. Number one, any cash you now have saved outside of the banking system is invalid and will no longer be in any value when this process is complete. December 13th, any digital currency you have in the bank may be turned off by the government thugs, which they are, for not obeying the correct party line. Those selling precious metals for money will receive Biden bucks rather than cash. No Biden bucks, no food, no rent, no mortgage, no cars, no clothes, etc. Everything will be denied. If you do not get this, they're going to cut you off. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, y'all. What else have I forgotten that is going to be destroyed by this digital system? All right, y'all, this is real. Everybody out there need to push this and warn everybody, even if it costs you your freedom, even your life. Let's get busy. All right, y'all. It says, and they combine this bill with the new, with the 87,000 new armed IRS agents. What could possibly be wrong? I'm going to tell you what's wrong. They're arming these people because when they crash this society, they know that there's going to be a lot of ma- angry, irate people that are going to come in there aggressively. You will be shot down. This is what this is all about. This is why they're going to be armed. They're going to crash the economy, y'all. They know y'all going to be mad. Please use wisdom. Let's go right here. It says, when Biden bucks are rolled out, many experts, myself included, this is Mr. Rickers talking, believe that they that believe they will begin an era of total government control and surveillance. Rickers stated, this is not hyperbole. This would dramatically expand the power and influence of the federal government, essentially acting as a new type of spyware. With Biden bucks, the government will be able to force you to comply with this agenda because if, if you don't, they could turn off your money. This won't be like freezing a bank account. It will be so much easier. Meaning what? If they do not like you. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all. Robert Kiyosaki said this. If they do not like what you are doing, y'all, this is a socialistic, totalitarian, fascist, draconian society now. Just like North Korea and China. They'll have facial, digital scans. They'll, uh, they'll monitor everything you're doing. If you're not paying child support, they're going to cut you off. If you're not paying your rent, they're going to cut you off. If you get fired from a job for being irate, they're going to cut you off. This is total control. This is not a game. Wake up. They're coming for you. If you got kids, you better get them ready for God's return. You better get them ready for persecution because it's here now, December 13th. Alrighty, family, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start everything off by saying Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, the Wada Yahweh, the Wada Yahweh Shai, Salaki Yahweh Yahweh, Salaki Yahweh Mashiach Malak Yahweh Shai, Kohala Adunawa Abba Yahweh, Bahashim Hamashiach Malak Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Wadash, Babakusha. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha. Peace and citations unto the hopeful elect. Rakatan Thawa to all of those who are being diligent inside this truth. And they're doing the best that they can when it comes down to keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers. As well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahushai, who is the Malak. And as always, make it known it's all about the kingdom. All right? This is Revelation chapter 13, starting in verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Verse 16. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name now my reasons are sharing this through the spirit and power of Yahweh family it's the fact that 
This is literally saying like, look, if you do not make it within yourself to agree to this beastly system, you're going to be put to death. Rather it's by a sword or rather it's by a famine, however way it's going to end up being. Let's pull up some witnesses. All right. In the book of Second Edris, chapter 15, I'm going to start verse 1. It said, Behold, speak thou in the ear of my people, Ooh, Israel, man, the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Verse 2 And cause them to be written in paper. For they are faithful and true. You see? These words are faithful and true, man. Okay. Let me jump down. It say in verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness verse 5 behold saith the Lord I will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled do you see that? Their hurtful works are fulfilled, man. Let me jump down to verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. Okay, because that sword is a representation of judgments. And one people shall stand up to fight against another people. And swore in their hand. That's what was mentioned in um, Matthew chapter 24. Let's get that. Yeah. In verse 7 For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine, and pestilence, and earthquakes, and diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hands. You see? 16. For there should be sedition amongst among men and invading one another. Invading one another. They shall not regard their kings, meaning the people who are in power, nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Why? Not only in Matthew 24 and verse 8 when he said, All these are the beginning of sorrows. But look at verse 12. He said, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. The love of many shall wax cold. And what is love? 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. You see? So the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is something that's being disregarded. Amongst the face of this earth And this is why The earth is, is, is polluted It's polluted You see Because the earth is given Into the hand of the wicked Let's bring that out There you go Job chapter 9 24 The earth is given into the hand of the wicked He covered the faces of the judges thereof If not where and who is he Who are those judges The judges are the gods of the, on the earth Okay 
That's talking about the the the, the, the men of the Lord, man. Saying the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, so they cover up the faces of the righteous ones. You can't have somebody doing a video that will be of inspiration to somebody, right? To keep them going in the spirit, to keep them motivated. But if it ain't fit into this wicked kingdom's narrative, they're going to mess with the algorithm and your views and your likes when it comes down to any of your videos on YouTube or either on, um, on Instagram, whatever social media platform. They're covering up the faces of the judges. And if it gets too much to the point where you start to get too many looks, they're going to find a way of getting rid of you. Because where you stand at is opposing. You're going up against what they're trying to establish and what is fitting to their narrative. You see? It's why when you go to Revelations 13 and 16... It said, I mean, verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. You see? That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Meaning you don't submit and surrender to the system. You shall be executed. Now, many may take, oh, that's a fear tactic. That's a fear move. You promoting fear. No, what I'm promoting is wisdom. This is wisdom. This is knowledge and understanding. How do I know of this? Because the scriptures tell me that. In Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. I think it's foolish if you make it within yourself to ignore this and not receive knowledge and understanding. Because the Lord says it here in Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions and that wisdom is knowledge and understanding and the and, and that knowledge and understanding is, is is what's coming from the instructions that's given unto us this is what causes us to trust in the lord like what is mentioned in psalms 37 and verse 3 trust in the lord and do good see so shall thou dwell in the land and thou and verily thou should be fed. But as you can as you are trusting in Yah Bashmi Shah and doing good, he's making it known to us through inspiration. And verse 1 out of Psalms 37, fret not thyself because of evildoers. See? Evildoers. Going into this. You see? Verse 6. For the wicked in 2 Ezra 15 and 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. You see? Their hurtful works are fulfilled. Why? Because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Like in Job chapter 9 and verse 24. So the Lord is encouraging us, fret not thyself because of evil doers. Evil, wicked, see? The earth is polluted because of these evil doers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of inequity. Meaning those who follow after these evil works. And they look at it as like, well, you know, I got a large lump sum. I got this and I got that. I'm fine. I'm okay. Yeah? Well, with that type of pride, okay? Yah Bashimi Shah making it known, you will be cut down. Verse 2 For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. So, trusting in Yah Bashimi Shah and doing good 
is what's helping us to see everything for what it is. Okay? To see everything for what it is and continue on, you know, and to the best of our abilities and being faithful, man. By committing our ways to him. You know? And this is the truth. All right? So going back into it, going down, look at this. Everything is going to go chaotic. As it's mentioned in the verse 16, in 2nd Edgeworth 15, and verse 16. But look at verse 17. A man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. For because of their pride, see, that pride, that's the... That's that Matthew uh, chapter 24 when he talks about men's hearts being waxed cold. You see? Nation against nation. Kingdom against kingdom. For, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Ooh. Verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. And for great tribulation. Look at that. You see? And for great tribulation. Let's go into this. Right? In verse 16. Matter of fact, 17. Second Edges uh, uh, 16 and 17. Look at that. He said, Woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for our midmen. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Like they still going to do wickedness. Showing you why the scriptures had said inside uh, uh, Second Edges chapter 15, right? And, and, and verse um, 6 when it said, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay? He say, Behold, uh, victuals shall be so good cheap. Right? Upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. Look at that. Look at that, yo. And you look at verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Nor, all, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Meaning they see the signs. They see what's going on and they still choose to go by what they want to do, man. Because wickedness is set on the face of the earth, man. That's why the scriptures have said this present world, okay, this present world was for many, but the world that is to come is for a few. It's for a few. And many don't even understand that. You think you just going to buy your way in the, into glory. Like everything going to be all good for you. As a matter of fact, let me, let me prove that uh, witness. All right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi Awashah, man. Second Edges chapter um, 7 and verse 3. All right. Uh, oh, Salaki. Um, verse uh, chapter 8, Salaki. And verse 3, see. There be many created, but few should be saved. You see, there be many created, but few should be saved. Hold on one second, so I get family. All right, let me say that this world, yeah, this world is for this world is for many, but the world that is to come is only for a few. You know, it's only for a few, man. You know. I put that scripture on the side of the screen so y'all could be able to see it. But the point of the matter is, if you're looking at all this and where you how about Shimi was shot standing in, it's more so on a level as in like, hey man, many are going to perish, man. Look, verse 22, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. That's food shortages. 
and the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. You see, talking about them judgments. Y'all got to realize some of y'all may possibly watch your children die. Some of y'all may possibly have newborn babies that that's born that's born into this existence, and that child may get destroyed. And because you ignore Yahweh Shemiah he gonna ignore your ass. Because you reject the men of the Lord, you gonna get rejected in that time and in that hour. You ain't seeking the Lord while He is nigh. Then, then, then you gonna real, you gonna find out how you ain't gonna be able to find him in that timing, and, and, and approve that. Let me, let me get into that. Proverbs, um, chapter one. All right. Look at this. Verse twenty-four. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. You see, you think that you just, all you got to do is believing in the Lord and that's just it. Why do you think the scriptures say study to show thyself approved, man? This is a this is more than just a lifestyle. This is an everlasting lifestyle. You got to be committed into this. Like it's mentioned in Psalm chapter 37 about committing your way unto the Lord and trusting in him. Okay? You commit yourself unto him through that heavenly counsel. So because you don't want to follow and because you don't want to listen, hey, you got to reap the consequences. That's why the scriptures say uh, uh, um, um, God is not mocked You reap what you sow Okay Verse 26 I also will laugh at your calamity I will mock when your fear cometh So look at that Yah Bashimi I was shy making it known Like when, when your fear cometh Upon you He gonna laugh at you He's gonna mock you And the word mock means to tease Verse 27, when your fear come as desolation. What is that desolation, man? Come on, man. That's that's that dreadful day. And your destruction come as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. Yah Bashimi Awasha can have you to, to 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 bear witness to your loved ones being put to death right in front of your face. And then take you and have you to get tortured, and then in the midst of you getting tortured, then you being taken out. He could do it like that, and then cast your essence away, man. That's why the scriptures makes it known to us to fear the Lord, man. He's a merciful and loving God. You understand that He's merciful and loving when you think back on the things that you have had yourself involved with them too. And you made a change within yourself by not taking advantage of his grace. You see, verse 28, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. How are they going to reach the Lord? By them trying to, they're they, they going to try to seek the men of the Lord. They're going to try to seek the men of the Lord. The men of Yahweh Bashimi Awasha. They're gonna be wanting to seek the true men of Yah Bashimi Awasha. You're gonna have people who gonna be carrying around the name Yah Bashimi Awasha, but they're gonna be false. False. And they're gonna expose it to you because everything that they're gonna be doing is all gonna be coming from a place of carnality. That's why the scripture said, be continually with a godly man. Matter of fact, speaking of that, let me pull it up. But be continually with the godly man. Okay. He is 37. Oh, one second, family. Uh, yeah, there you go. Sirach 37, verse 12. But be continually with a godly man, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Meaning, you know that they keep the commandments. 
It didn't say you think. It said you know. Saying you see their works. You see that. You see what is evident. You see what is evident in how they're carrying themselves. Where they really truly operating within the fruits of the spirit. You see. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Whose mind is according to thy mind. Meaning it's, he's relatable. And will sorrow with thee if thou should miscarry. Meaning they, they went through something. They overcame. And because you still going through it. They're giving you that counsel that is heavenly. Through their testimonies to help you through. Which is going to have you to be in a place. To uh, continually be with a godly man. Who you know that's keeping the commandments of the Lord. Many can see the godly man. But they still choose to go about things in their own way. And deny the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And, 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 and then when it's too late, that's when they want to make it for themselves to get right. But key point, it's too late. That's why the Lord's saying here, because you didn't take in his counsel, he's saying he's going to laugh at your calamity and will mock you when your fear come. Right? If you look at verse 28 in Proverbs 1, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You ain't going to find them. You see, if you can't be with a godly man right now, a godly individual, a Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, I'm telling you right now, many going to operate in carnality and they're going to perish by the sword because they're going to lack that faith. They ain't going to have that faith. And faith is the only thing that we're going to be able to have in that time and that's going to empower us. I remember a brother was sharing a dream about him being amongst uh, these guys. And it was a dream he had, you know, uh, a brother Jeremiah, you know, and he was saying how he was in the dream and he got on his knees and started praying. When the guys went out to go, um, they grabbed their guns and everything to go out and go fight. And then one guy looked at him and said, I know this nigga knelt down on his knees praying. And they all started laughing. But he kept on praying. Saying, your power is in your weapons. My power is in prayer. My power is in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. My power is coming from a place that's not of this world. That is the power over all powers that is of this present world. You see? So the thing is, is that I'm not saying nobody can't have what they have as far as if they got a gun or whatever. But what I'm saying is that don't rely on that as your source of power. And in that dream, in the instance, those guys, they was relying on their weaponry to be their source of power. Not realizing those are only crumbs off of Esau's table. Esau got some high tech shit. The Lord blessed him with the sword. He's using him to take you damn two thirds out. Okay. And the, those who are considered to be, you know, like uh, if they're of a one third, you know, because I don't know if I could be of a one third or, or the, of the elect. I don't know. But I do know, uh, you know, the, I'm doing the best that I can to exalt Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, and that's the truth. But if you're doing the best that you can, you're going to push yourself to not try. You're going to be in a mode of doing where your mindset is in a place of pleasing him. OK, so he said they should call upon me, but I would not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me for that. They hated knowledge. See, they hated knowledge. And did not choose to fear the Lord. They didn't. They not understanding the things that they are bearing witness to. These signs that's all around. These are all signs that are evident to, you know what I mean? Yahweh Shimi Shah's work. And if his work from the left hand side is moving mightily, imagine the works that's get, that the works that are also being applied, you know, simultaneously from the right hand. You see? Because the right hand is greater. You see? They ain't choose to fear the Lord. They were none of my counsel. 
they despise all my reproof. You see? So, hey, it is what it is. So the point of the matter is, is like, repent. Repent. Seek ye the Lord while he could be found. And repent. So I'm going to end it off right there. Love y'all. Stay up. Stay blessed. Shalom.